coming up on this video, we take you along a trail to Force Crag Mine. The fog covers the land and we explore the area. Enjoy this journey and stay till the end for bloopers and funny moments. This can be a very casual walk to explore the mines, or you can go up to the pike and the views from above to make it an adventure, if not a little bit more demanding. The former route is in red, and the latter is a combination of red and orange. The GPS and what free words can be found in the description, the marked map locations relate to video chapters, and feel free to pause to inspect the route. Let the journey begin. The start of the journey is a nice inclined stroll with a breathtaking view all around you. Today we're continuing our vacation in Cumbria and the Lake District by going to one of our little hidden gems, Force Crag Mine. It starts off with a little incline and then about a two mile flat hike towards the mine and into the hillside with all the views to see along the way. As always, Christy's gone on ahead and I'm gonna go get caught up. Let's journey on and enjoy all the beauty around us today. This is a lovely hike and not too difficult. I must apologize, I'm quite nasally today. Something is bringing out my allergies. We are about halfway to the mine, but enjoying the lovely stroll and looking down at the stream below us. I can't wait to get to the mines and the waterfalls. They're such a sight to see. Today's journey really emphasizes the beauty in this land, the winding stream in the valley, the fog covering the hills, all with these makeshift benches darted around for you to take in the sights. You can turn down this route if at this point you want something more challenging, as this will take you up the hill and towards the pike where you can explore the majestic views from above, but we do suggest exploring the mining area first. Crag Mine was the last working metal mine in the Lake District prior to its final abandonment in 1991. The outside of the structure is safe to explore, but watch your step when going around as the rocks can be rather slippy. The buildings that you can see today were built in 1908 and redesigned in 1939. They contained the ore refining machinery that was in use during the 1980s and until it was closed, along with some earlier equipment. The mine shafts have been sealed for safety, but we couldn't help ourselves having a little exploration. It really is a hidden gem. There's so much to see here, yet it's not an overly popular destination. We came a bit late and we've seen maybe two or three people. When you finally get to the end of the valley, you're presented with all this majesty. It's beautiful. There's a river going through. There's two waterfalls here, one over here, and another one you can just about see in the backdrop. All around you is uh, sediment uh, and from the rocks and then from the mine. The sheep prowling around, so do be wary if you bring in your dogs here. But it's absolutely stunning. We 
finished off our day with exploring the waterfalls, but sadly this was cut short as the heavens opened up and we made our quick escape back through the land and to our car. Here are some outtakes, bloopers and funny moments from our journey. Don't take life too serious, we don't, and nor does Bala. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> running water. Yeah, I'm stood right next to a drain. Nice. Well, I think my leg's dead. Alright. Best journey on. <laughs> Hey, trip number one. Yeah, hey, hey, drop the leaf. We really appreciate you staying till the end. Consider liking this video and checking out our other content. If you want to see future content, consider subscribing and checking out Valo's Instagram. Details are in the description. I hope you enjoyed this journey. Why not check out these? All the best on your journey. And until the next video, goodbye now.